and on the way, local EMS crews are preparing for the possibility of flash flooding in some areas. KNBC 9's Lisa D'Souza joins us live from Indian Creek with what to watch for. And this area is certainly notorious for flooding. Right now, the water levels don't look too high. Now, water rescues, EMS crews say, can be the most dangerous. As for the most common call they get, well, it may not surprise you. In Warrensburg, Assistant Fire Chief Doyle Oxel is watching the weather closely. We're preparing for like a two to three inch rain, but it's going to be coming fast is what they told us. A flash flood watch for the city. The Assistant Chief, also part of a FEMA response team, now on standby to help other parts of Missouri. We're already at flood stage in most of our river systems along the Missouri River. The biggest mistake people make, he says, behind the wheel. Now, a lot of people don't realize it doesn't look fast. I can make it. And that's always the I can make it people is the ones we end up trying to go get. Even a few inches of water can be more powerful than you think. A 10 mile an hour water is the equivalent to the pressure of about 270 miles an hour of wind. I feel bad for people who maybe live in like low water areas and really are affected, but I think rain is good. While the rain may bring some relief to the drought, a little prep. Flashlights, batteries, some, some kind of food. Could go a long way. 100% yes, we have extra everything in our household. <laughs> And the chief urges homeowners with a sump pump to check it tonight before the rain to make sure it's working. Live at Indian Creek, Lisa D'Souza, KMBC 9 News. EMS crews urge you to have an emergency kit at home that is easily accessible.